alligator comes from the Spanish el lagarto, which means the lizard. Which really isn't that interesting. Rising sea levels have made once unreachable corners of the bayou accessible.
used to buy sunshine sunscreen until I read it contains seven hormone-disrupting chemicals and palm oil. is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. Only here can the shark discover the miracle of self-love.
Honestly, I found that shark a little one note to build a whole season around. For human hunters and animal predators alike, the bayou is revered for its wildness and generosity. The solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment. Would hardly be the strangest thing ever retrieved from a crocodile's mouth. Prey vanishes into the sinister maw of the shark. Critic once wrote that Amos Beauregard was the Rodin of the Bayou, but Beauregard was functionally illiterate and had no idea who Rodin was. A shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta.
Protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake. should have taken a gun safety class.
spite of their reputations as wrestlers, alligators haven't mastered the nuances of scientific holds like the figure four. The shark returns once again to her safe haven. and on International Turtle Day, too. The ocean is home to more species than any other environment on Earth, all of which must eat to survive. Fawtick Bayou has long been a favorite go-to spot for catfishing.
While adorable, these soft stuff mascots don't provide much in the way of nutritional value. As a result of industrial pollution and sewage wastewater, Dead Horse Lake was designated a Superfund site in 1996. are cavity nesters, so mind your presence.
This mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet. scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. Catfish have specialized taste buds all over their bodies, so they know that you're the one that peaked in the water. spent 16 years building this sculpture out of trash pulled from the lake, only to have it thrown back in the lake by intoxicated locals.
even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. Fort Clovis takes up arms in the name of a murderous cause. The Scourge of the Swampland, Bayou Willie. Time will tell whether government actions can diminish Port Clovis's reputation as a shark attack hotspot. Port Clovis locals seldom miss an opportunity to indulge in mindless, gratuitous slaughter. The hunt ends, but this is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. intestines become ungainly out of life.
Shark versus dolphin. Orca versus giant squid. Boat versus pylon. When establishing dominance, the contest is usually a deadly one, with survival as the prize. Random mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst. Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered calm. Until local police departments settle a dispute over jurisdiction, these two remain a popular attraction for selfie-seeking snorkelers. as the friendly face of Captain Winky's fish and chips, in real life, the pirate was a genocidal monster who murdered and enslaved thousands. Hunger is a driving force for the bull shark. familiar terms with any snake-faced mullet bunches. A school of barracuda frequents the waters around Trash Island, where they enjoy a steady diet of hypodermic needles and used pregnancy tests. have learned over the years that anything that drops over the side of a boat is food, including
Many places see more human fatalities caused by giant catfish than sharks, such as the Amazon Basin or Splash Mania Water Park in Garland, Texas. hundred million years of evolution and yet the shark is eaten by someone's future luggage. <laughs> 